For those of you who have not seen part one and part two in this series, uh, I picked this tractor up, I don't, I'm not sure now, two or three months ago. I bought it from the same person that I got this Alice Chalmers B from. This is a 1944 B. Love this little tractor. The Alice Chalmers B was, was really kind of difficult to get back together. And this one, on the other hand, was in pretty good shape. Yeah, there were some things that needed addressing, but overall, this was fairly easy to get back uh, to operational condition. So in this video, I wanted to show you the few remaining things that I needed to address or wanted to address. So let's jump right in. And uh, at the end of the video, we'll take it for a drive. And I have one more thing to share with you at the end of the video regarding the Cub. Might as well check the compression. Well, the plugs have some age to them, but that coloring really looks good, doesn't it? For anybody that might be curious, the firing order on the Farmall Super A is one, three, four, two. And this is number one. So one, three, four, two. And I think on a freshly rebuilt factory spec engine, the compression should be about 125 per cylinder. So I think we are right on the money there.
I don't have it quite off the ground yet, but I do have a lot of the weight off the wheels. Um, we've got about an inch travel back and forth, although it looks like it's more than that. It's really only about one inch. So I just want to take this plug out, let whatever oil is in there drain out. And I want to get my eyes on the worm gear to see what kind of condition it's in. And maybe even get my eyes on the uh, horizontal gear that it meshes with. And just to see if I can determine why we have that inch of slot back and forth. I should be able to grab the steering shaft from above and get it to come down. The bearing actually feels really good. All right, let's bring the shaft down a little farther. Let's see if we can get a better look at the worm gear. There we go. Look at all those gouges on the top of the worm gear. That's really rough. Those gouges are deep. Now, I was just going to just pull all the way through. Yep, sure does. Let's see if we can get a look up in there. All right, there's a good shot of that gear. But I'd ha I have a hard time believing that this gear is the problem. It just, it does not look that worn down to me. That gear has got an eighth of an inch slop in it just by itself. And here's a better look at the uh, worm gear. You can see how it's gouged and worn all the way around. It almost looks like this was used in the steering box for a significant amount of time with no grease. It's just so scarred up. Well, here we are about one week later. I found a replacement shaft on eBay and it just came in the mail. And here I've got them side by side. You can see the difference. Now I'm miking out the uh, old one. It's at 1.6765 inches, and I had to actually move them around on my uh, stool there so I could get the mic on the new one. That's 1.7835 inches, which is a difference of 107 thousandths of an inch. And I swear you can almost actually see the difference there.
Now the plane, the steering wheel goes from about 12 o'clock to about two o'clock. And before with the old shaft and the old gear, it went from 12 o'clock to about four o'clock. I knew it wasn't going to fix all the slot, but it did fix some of it. And I'm happy with that improvement.
You can see I'm so confident with the charging system that I even put the lid on the battery box. And, and of course it's got the side as well, so it gives it a nice clean look there. And I shined the whole tractor up just a little bit. This one's gonna live in the shop, so it's got shelter for the winter. And you know I'm a Model T guy, so I had to put a little Model T toy in the dust collector there. And of course it's red, so it kinda matches. Well, you can never really say these projects are done completely, but this one's pretty much done. sign off I'll be making a small series of videos on the Farmall Cub again unfortunately this time it's gonna involve a fairly big repair a couple months ago she started smoking heavily out the uh, stack mostly blue smoke a little bit of white Tons of blow by, uh, the compression has dropped. So I don't know if I lost the rings or if it's some type of a valve issue. So this will be one of my winter projects. We'll make a few videos on it. We'll get to the bottom of it, figure out what's going on and get it fixed. Thanks for watching everybody.